finally got my little makeshift tripod. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna demonstrate uh, what you probably did um, to make that mistake. Instead of, um, let's see, let's see here. Um, see how there's this strand, and then there's this strand. Um, this is the actual loop. This one right here. Uh, and it goes around and behind this strand. Um, that's actually the one you're supposed to pick up to rip back a row. But you probably just went inside the hole, or inside the whole thing actually. You probably went be behind the whole thing and uh, slipped it off. And instead of getting that top stitch, uh, the stitch actually slided through um, and dropped off as you did that. So now you have this big long strand and then you have the loop from the, lo the row beneath underneath. Uh, okay, so I'm doing that again because I didn't really know what I was doing just now. Um, you probably went behind everything instead of this strand back here. You went through both, I'm assuming. So you get that stitch that slided off and the one from the previous row became a long strand. Uh, I'm just going to slip that back on the needle. Okay. Now I'm going to show you what you probably did. Um, you probably just um, knit along there and actually probably knitted into this thing there. Mine looks exaggerated for some reason. See, it's a huge hole. Uh, I'll probably just keep knitting. Okay. So, my very exaggerated hole. Okay. So, I'm going to keep knitting to show you how to rip back. Um, properly so that that doesn't happen. I'm going to try anyway. Okay. With knit it's really simple, but with purl it's a little more difficult. Which is what I'm doing right now and you can't see it, so but I'll be pur I'll be ripping back. Ooh. I have two purl stitches here, not a lot to really show anything, but um, when you rip back, you go behind this, or in between the two strands and behind, and make sure that the right strand of that loop is on the needle, and then slip it off, and then do it again, and slip it off. <sighs> uh, and then with knit, it's a lot easier because you can see these V's. I don't know if you can see them on my camera because it's really bright, but um, you go in through between and then pick up the right side of the loop. See how this loops? Well, you can't really see it, but um, this loops up and around that one. So take this on the needle and then slide it off. The right side loop, slide it off. Facing you, the right side of the loop. and just pull that yarn as we go. Um, ripping back to right on top of that big hole to try to fix it. Which is probably where it would be really good to have a crochet hook, but you don't need one. Okay. And you can just stick your needle in between them and slide it off. Okay, and here we are the problem area. Um, this might be a little scary, but it's not really. Um, this big strand, or this, uh, this, uh, um, on top of the big hole, just, uh, drop that. You don't need it. Okay, um, 
and the stitch that was to the right of that is the one that we're going to fix, I believe. So, put your needle um, in between that loop and slide that stitch off like you're ripping back. Okay. And this is where we're going, where we're going to fix this. Um, this strand that's in front needs to go in back. So, what you can do is, um, probably the easiest way for you would be to slip this stitch that's on the left needle, purl-wise, on the right needle. Um, lift this strand, um, and put it on the right needle and over that stitch. And then slip it again, purl-wise, back onto the left needle. So now this strand is behind this stitch, this long strand that was in front is now behind. Um, so now you go in through here like you're going to knit and then um, find that strand that's behind and bring it through like you're knitting but only with that strand not with the working yarn and pull it through. And now everything's all fixed and you keep knitting. I hope that helps. If not, I can try to make another video.